Howdy YouTube, this is Steven, and I'm back with another news article analysis. And the title of the article that I'm going to analyze today is TRF's Sam, aka Masaharu Maruyama, aka Namie's ex-husband, aka Namie's baby daddy, is married to a woman in her 20s and has a baby girl. <clears throat> so yeah, um, pretty much the reason that I'm doing this article is because um, Sam has a relation to Nami Amuro. Other than that, I probably wouldn't be doing this article. And I thought this theme would be a, a little, like a, a bit interesting to talk about. So with that being said, here I go. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I got this article from AramaJapan.com. So thanks a lot to them. They're always a great source for um, um, news when it comes to um, Japanese entertainers. On the 25th issue of Flash magazine, it reports that TRF's dancer Sam, 53 years old, married a woman in her 20s. And they currently have a baby girl together. Okay, so I was all like, what? Really? So Nami's ex husband married a woman in her 20s. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, that's interesting. <clears throat> Let me read the next part. His companion is not part of the Japanese entertainment world and is said to resemble freelance announcer Yamagashi Mei, 28. So I'm guessing she resembles her? But is she her? Alright, next. The magazine continues that the baby girl was born late last year and around the same time the two got married. <clears throat> so I guess um, another shotgun wedding. Okay, alright. And it looks like he okay, he got something I guess he got a rhythm going on here <clears throat> they also published pics of Sam holding his daughter on a stroll through their neighborhood it is believed that he was friends with his wife no less than two years prior to the marriage and birth of their child when contacting his agency they stated that this is his private business and they only watch over him warmly and wish for his happiness. And this is not the first time Sam has been married. <clears throat> he was previous, previously married to songstress Nami Amuro, 37 years old currently, back in 1997, and they divorced in 2002. The son they had together was born in 1998. And that's the end of the article. <clears throat> So, you know, it seemed like Sam is still up to his old tricks, you know, um, going after the young, young women. And, you know, that's a bit strange for me, you know, a bit strange. I guess people, I don't know. I don't know. They say she's in her 20s. She could be like 29 or she could be 20 or somewhere in between, you know. But if she's like 20, that does seem a bit weird to me. But to be fair, the age of consent in Japan is different than the age of consent in the United States. I think the age of consent in Japan is perhaps like 13 or 14, maybe, I think, <clears throat> versus in the United States, which is typically around 18, although sometimes it varies um, depending on the state you're in. So it could be like 17 or 16. So around that, around that, um, you know, that area. But typically 18. Um, but yeah, um, hmm, it's interesting. It's just a little weird. It seems almost a bit predatorial at this point. Uh, you know, borderline child molester, perhaps. Um, I don't, I probably shouldn't be saying this, you know, because, you know, I am going to be, um, a stepdad for Nami's son pretty soon and um, that wouldn't be cool of me to be talking about 
his father like that. You know, he probably wouldn't appreciate me talking about his dad like that. And I can understand because I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't appreciate someone talking about my dad in that manner either. Um, however, I do, you know, on the other hand, I do need to get some things off my chest, y'all. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, this woman is in her 20s. I'm going to assume that she's 20. If she's not 20, then still, um, I'm going to assume that she's um, 20 or, you know, really young. So it seems a bit weird because he's 53 and it just seems a bit like kind of like predatorial um, borderline child molester type of thing going on here. And to be fair, he is within the legal constraints of the law, but it still is. It comes off a bit is a bit weird because the last woman that he married was Nami A and she was around that same age, too. So it seems like, you know. Like, and he married her when he was in his, like, 30s, maybe, like, 32, and she was, like, around 19 or 20. And I think people let that kind of slide, even though people are like, oh, I'm a little weird about that. But, you know, people kind of let that slide because, you know, hey, it's Nami Amoro. Like, who wouldn't jump at the opportunity for that, you know? <clears throat> but here, um, you know, the comments I read, there was, like, you know, there was, like, some of the comments were like, oh, you know, it's good to see that Sam is still as slimy as he was back in the 90s, you know. <clears throat> and like I said, he's in within he's in the constraints of the law, you know. He's within the law here. He hasn't broken any laws. But I guess for me it just comes off as a bit odd that you know he is kind of still going after the same age of woman and really it's just because it's so young not that it's young but it's just so young you know if she was like 30 okay that would probably be a, like i wouldn't be as bad you know i wouldn't be thinking of it as badly as a, as i am now <clears throat> um but at the end of the day you know he's whipping the law you know she agreed to it he agreed to it I'm guessing their parents probably agreed to it as well. Um, so yeah. Um, but now I'm going to switch gears a little bit and talk about uh, Namie's marriage to Sam. And I don't think she should have did that, you know, for the sake of her career. But I know that she probably did that because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, you're supposed, if you're having a child with someone, you're supposed to be married to them, you know. <clears throat> um, you know, with in Japanese society, I think that's what they want, you know. Um, Japanese society is more conservative than the society of, say, the United States. But back in, you know, back in the day, you know, a long time ago, the United States was kind of conservative in that way, where people did expect you to be married to, uh, like, the parents of a child to be married, you know. <clears throat> but I don't think she should have did that because that kind of um, messed up her career a little bit. You know, Sam got her pregnant, then she had to take time off to deal with the pregnancy as well, uh, to get married. And then I think the fans didn't really agree with the marriage. So then the fans kind of had some shade with Nam when it came to Nami A. And like, eh, you know, maybe we don't want to support you as much anymore. <clears throat> and then, like, Sam's mom was throwing shade at Nami A too, though. I'm like, really? Why? Like, this is the... Like, that's the best thing he ever had, really. And his mama throwing shade like his son, like her son is just like, like freaking, um, what that dude name is. Like her son is like Brad Pitt. Or either her son is like as successful as, say, um, Bill Gates, you know? <clears throat> you know, like her son is like Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt and Bill Gates merged into one, you know? And she, the mom was throwing shade at Nami because she felt that her son could have did better. You know, her son, I think they come from somewhat of an elite, an elite background. Like, their family owns a hospital. So, I'm guessing they got some money, you know. <clears throat> um, and, you know, despite, you know, the fame and success that Nami had, she wasn't good enough. Um, so I wonder how she feels about this woman, this current woman he with. Is she good enough for him too? 
because like at this point, um, no shade to the current woman, but like Nami was the best thing he had. You know, that's the best thing that um, you know, best woman that came up in his life. You know, <clears throat> so Sam's mom could save the shade for a sunny summer day. You know, say that for another day, um, Sam's mom. <clears throat> um, but yeah, um, and also like Nami, this the thing is with this this marriage was bad, but it took a turn for the worse. And I mean the very, very, very worse. Because Sam's uncle, aka Namie's step uncle, murdered Namie's mother. And if they never had that connection, her mother might still be alive. And that is just a terrible thing to have on your mind. But on the flip hand, like on the other hand, like if she never got with Sam, she wouldn't have her son. You know? So that is terrible. Like, because you it's kind of like Sophie's choice. You know? She has to choose between her mom and her son. I know it wasn't exactly like that in Sophie's choice, but you know, follow me. You know, follow me. <clears throat> so that it's just extremely terrible. Like I don't have words to even describe how terrible that is. <clears throat> but um, to sum it up, you know, to sum it up and bring this to a close, um, you know, I think Sam's tasting women might need to mature just a little bit. But, you know, what's done is done. They have a child together. So I hope that they're good parents to their um, baby girl. And I hope that he's being a good parent to his son with Nami Amuro. You know? Um, so I think I've said all I have to say for the time being. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to give me a thumbs up. Your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued. And to the next news article analysis, adios and goodbye for now. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, you know, congratulations to um, Haruto, Namie's son, because he now has a baby sister. You know, he has a half-sister um, because of his dad. So I guess that would be different. Um, so Haruto is going to be a big brother to um, his, well, he's become a big brother now. You know, He's not the only child anymore. I guess it's a bit late though <laughs> at this point. But still, <clears throat> you ain't the only child anymore. So, yep, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Adios and goodbye for now.